Here, where it says examples, that examples page, if we click on that, that'll actually lead us to the examples.html page. But uh, as I told you, I'm not going to use examples.html. So let's say I want to change the links up on the bar up here. So let's say I want to make examples uh, Twitter. So select all of that and then type in uh, Twitter or whatever you want to. And then uh, we have to go here and find my Twitter link. So Go ahead and uh, find that. So, okay, that's good. So here's my Twitter's link right here. So let's copy that. And so let's say we want to make uh, that page our Twitter. So here we have the Twitter there. So we click on that here, and then we go up to the link, and then uh, paste in the link here. Then click OK, and then uh, once we open up the page in our browser, once we click on that, it will bring us to uh, my Twitter. Now here I'll just say something like uh, YouTube. So YouTube, and I'm gonna go ahead and find my uh, YouTube username, my uh, YouTube link. So I'm gonna copy that. User a one one zero two one zero eight five, and I'm just gonna go ahead, select that, grab the link and paste that in and I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, delete the rest of these since I'm not using them so now they're deleted so up here in the home bar I have a page for home a page for Twitter and a page for YouTube and so now I'm gonna show you guys how to insert an image so let's say we want to insert an image so first thing we want to do is insert an image so let's say I have an image here so I'll go to documents uh, website stuff. I think I'll use this uh, A1 thing. So I'm going to copy it and uh, what we want to do is we want to go back into that folder that we made uh, the A11 test site or and go in there then go into your images folder and paste in the uh, picture that you wanted to use. So I wanted to use my black iPhone icon so I pasted it into my pictures folder. So now what we do is let's say we want to insert the picture right there. So click in where you want to insert the picture and then I click on the image tool over here. Then I click on this little thing right here to browse for the images. So uh, I'm going to go to desktop, A11 test site, images, and then iPhone icon. Now here we have to make sure that if we don't want any alternate text, check mark, don't use alternate text, and then click OK. And then it will input our image in there. And so. Um, the final thing I'm going to show you guys is how to insert uh, HTML. So, say I want to go ahead and uh, insert a video from YouTube into my website. So, I'd go to here and I'd go to, uh, let's just go to YouTube. So, go to YouTube. Uh, let's pick a random video. Let's pick my last video, how to skin your Mac and make it black. So, once you have the video that you want to go ahead and insert on your website, go down here to the embed code. Uh, you can go ahead and choose any of the embed options once they load up. But uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and copy the embed code for here. And then what we do is we uh, insert our, we put our cursor to where we want to insert the video, and then we go up to insert and then uh, HTML, and paste in the embed code there, and click on insert, and it will in, it will insert a little video object right there. Let me just close that out. So uh, that's basically all we did. We had a uh, we added a banner to our site. We added a home, Twitter, and YouTube links. We added an image, and we added a uh, YouTube video that we embedded. Now you guys can go ahead and customize the site any way you want to, whether it's uh, adding more pages or tweaking around with HTML. Uh, you don't even have to use a, a HTML template. I, I just use an HTML template for this video to uh, make the video go by quicker because HTML is a long, lengthy, and confusing process. So once we have it to the way we want to, we go up here and click on Save, and then close out of a Composer. And uh, then as we go into the A11 test site folder, and we click on index.html, click open, it'll load up what it looks like in your web browser, but uh, it'll have some time to load up the YouTube video here, so I'm going to go ahead and close out of that, and so uh, here we can go ahead and get rid of examples.html because I didn't use it, but uh, if you want to use examples.html if you use this template, that's fine, but since I didn't use it, I'm going to go ahead and delete it, 
I'll drag that up here. So make sure that uh, once you're done, you have all your pages that you want to uh, into this folder. You have all the images that you used in the image folder, and you have your style.css thing right here. So now that we have everything the way we want to, I'm going to go ahead and this is where we need Dropbox. Just download Dropbox from the link in the description if you don't already have it. So I'm going to go ahead to Finder and to my Dropbox folder. Now I'm going to go into Public. And here I'm going to take my A11 test site folder and drag it in. Wait for the little thing to become a check mark. That means it's synchronized. And so then what we want to do is we want to give our website a name because uh, because uh, it's already on the internet now that it's in your Dropbox folder. So what we want to do is we want to first open up our A11 test site and go to index.html again. Right click on it and go to Dropbox and click on copy public link. Then we can close out of there. And now what we do is we go to our URL redirection service such as .tk, .co.cc, .co.tv. Uh, you can use any one of them. I'm going to be using .tk for this. So I'm going to go down here and click on add a domain. So uh, if you don't have an account with .tk, go ahead and sign up for an account and sign up for a domain. But uh, since I already have a .tk account, I'm going to go ahead and click on add a domain. And it's going to say www.whatever.tk. I'm going to say a11, a11 test site.tk. So I'm going to click on next now. And I'm going to make sure I have free domain selected. And I'm going to click on next. And now uh, here's your current web address, which is what we're going to use for the uh, what we're going to use for the URL redirection. So what we do is we go ahead and paste in our Dropbox public link, which is the public link that we copied from the HTML document that we had. Now what we do is we just type in the characters here. So L B P R K U L P, and then click next. And then uh, it says thank you for this domain portfolio. Uh, know that the domain is received, blah blah blah. So, a11 test site.tk. So, let's go ahead and load that up. So, a11, a11 test site.tk. We load that up and then it loads up to our website here. So, as we notice, we have our header up at the top, we have our home page, the Twitter, and the YouTube account. We have our uh, body of the paragraph here, we have our YouTube video, and we have our a11 logo here and as you notice it's actually on the web it's uh, at a11 site.tk now you can use any other ones like co.cc co.nr or you can even use this method to upload to a paid server and so uh, just to prove everything works to you I click on Twitter it'll bring me to my Twitter page and uh oh shit okay let me just go back there a11 test site.tk and then uh, the YouTube video works as you see here I started playing the YouTube hey guys, video oh crap I went back to the YouTube video so anyway yeah that's how you make a free website with HTML uh, for free as you see here it works so I'll post all the links that you will need into the description and so anyway you're just gonna need that free HTML editor and you're gonna need to upload your files once you have them edited to Dropbox or a free web host or even a paid web host if you want to so anyway that is how to make a free website uh, with nothing but free tools. You can do this on a Mac or PC. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.